Good Monday morning, everybody. Great to have you along on this 19th day of October. Well, in this segment, we're going to be taking on yet another adventure by Muffy McMouse. A new Muffy McMouse book coming out. And in fact, this time, Muffy McMouse goes to Paragon Park. And this is a lot of fun. Kate McLeod Emery is with us this morning. She created Muffy McMouse. Kate, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on your show this morning. Well, great to have you back. We've had you on every step of the way here with Muffy McMouse when you first uh, told us about this uh, very, uh, very fun character Mm -hmm. and how you started uh, creating Muffy McMouse and uh, how this whole project came to be, uh, came to be, which is great. And you've shared it with so many kids and families. Well, I retired from Hanover Schools after 43 years, three years ago, and said, what next? And um, Lloyd happened to look in one of the drawers on the desk, and there he says, who's this Muffy McMouse sitting in the drawer? And I said, well, it's a book I've been thinking for 20 years of putting together. And he says, well, it's time Muffy came out of the drawer. <laughs> and now we're on book three. <laughs> Release book three. the mouse. Release him from that <laughs> desk drawer. Wow. Can you believe it? It's book three? It's book three. Mm. Well, a year ago, um, Patty Abbott, the general manager at the Paragon Cafe, Mm -hmm. She approached me and said, we've never had a children's book about Paragon Park, and would you think of doing one? And I thought, well, I hadn't thought of doing another book, but uh, the challenge was there, and I'm glad I did it because it was so much fun taking Muffy and his little friends from the Village of Friendship. Uh, They got in their red Bentley, we call it. It's an old red Volkswagen van, Mm -hmm. and he comes across the bridge, and they... They stay at the Clock Tower Inn, which is an old clock tower that's connected to, it was, um, it's beside the carousel, Mm. and so we made it the Clock Tower Inn, and some of the people at the carousel overheard me, and they said, we have a Clock Tower Inn in the town of Hull, and the general manager (laughs) said, well, she does up here in her mind. (laughs) Yeah. I'd like to to stay a night there at the Clock Tower Inn. (laughs) Must have some great views. So he (laughs) arrived last Saturday, and... um, They'll go up in the clock tower and go to bed, and they'll go into a dream. And the whole rest of the book is a dream that enables Muffy to take his friends and the readers back in time to go back and visit the old Paragon Park, ride the rides, and the um, La Hague saltwater taffy, the Noor's... um, frozen custard, the cotton candy, and as they come up Nantasket Ave and approach the carousel, Mm -hmm. they'll come out of their dream and they'll hop on the ponies and ride into the future. And it's a way to show the children that there was a park and Mm -hmm. this carousel was in the center Mm -hmm. of the park, one of the loveliest rides. And, um, And when the park closed, the friends of the carousel took it off the auction block and they gave the gift to the town of Hull and moved it up near Tasket Avenue to to with their present location. Boy, do I miss Paragon Park. Oh, so many people do. And we sign books there all summer, and we've been promoting this new book, Mm -hmm. Muffy McMouse Comes to Paragon Park, and people have been waiting, mostly the grandparents that say, I can't wait to buy this book and sit with my grandchild and say, I rode on that ride. Yeah. So uh, the first time we saw started selling was yesterday at the carousel and it was just a great day oh it was oh. really a lot of fun that's oh. great and what a what a perfect spot to start selling the books oh, it's uh, a magical place to hang out in it really is and to spark that conversation and to have some memories and conversations with the children today and say hey yes this carousel is still here but it used to be over here and this is what was here and you can right. imagine mm-hmm. in your own head where the roller coaster was, and, yeah. and you know, and, and they'll have some fun. Plus, great illustrations in the books as always. Well, always. It's the third book that I've done with Rich Daly, a native of Norwell, mm-hmm. who graduated from the Savannah School of Art down in Georgia, a four-year college, and uh, he's been with me, you know, all three books. Mm. Oh, well, this is exciting! And there's music with this book there also. There is music. Um, I um, did two songs. The first one is called All in a Dream, Mm -hmm. and it's a song taking them from the time they leave the village and their whole experience. And the second song is The Carousel, 
and they've never had a song on the carousel. So hmm. they grabbed onto this, and they've been playing it as the horses spin. Hmm. I'm hearing my songs, and really, I, that's unbelievable. Well, that's going to be a nice <laughs> feeling too. Yeah, they have well, the music. Well, it is. They I wanted them to hear the songs before we put them in the book. Yeah, and so we brought a CD down there, and they listened to it, and they loved it. And I forgot to take it with me. And about a week later, <laughs> Lloyd and I are signing books there, and all of a sudden I heard. Our bags are packed and we're on our way. And we looked at one another <laughs> and we said, can you believe that we're sitting here listening to our oh, music? Oh, right there at the carousel. And so they have it on a tape and every once in a while it comes on. Mm-hmm. Oh. So sometimes we hear it eight times when we're down there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's wonderful. So this is the new book. And again, uh, we're, we're, we want, where can people go to to pick up this? Because if they want to share it with their kids and, and to read Muffy McMouse Comes to Paragon Park, how can we pick one up? Well, Muffy McMouse has his own website. He has his own Facebook page, too. Wow. The website is MuffyMcMouse.com, and they can go in, and they'll find uh, a place where they can purchase it and make a comment there as to who they want it signed, and they will get in touch with us, and we'll mail it out to them. They can call 781-925-3231 and let us know how to personally sign it, and we will mail it out. Or they can see Janet at the Storybook Cove in Hanover Mall. She's got a lovely children's shop Mm -hmm. there, bookshop. Excellent. Wow. Well, this is fun, and I know we want to share some with the uh, listeners, right? Do we have a copy we can give away, Kate? We have two copies. Oh, wow. Okay. That we would love to have somebody receive. And our next uh, signing will be at the Hanover Library on this coming Friday from 2 to 4.45. Oh, great. Okay. We'll the be back at the carousel library. next weekend, the 24th and the 25th. And we'll do the Council on Aging in Abington, um, and that's on Halloween. And back at the carousel November 1st. Oh, right. good. Great. Okay. 11 to, 12, 11 to 5 o'clock. Oh, all okay. right. Ooh, all right. So. That's a long day. Excellent. Kate, thank you so much for coming in. And it's been a pleasure to have Kate McLeod Emery in uh, to talk about the latest adventure for Muffy McMouse as Muffy McMouse comes to Paragon Park. And yeah. let's give those books away right now. Thank you so much, Kate. Well, thank you for having me. Good to have Great Kate McLeod to see Emery you. in and uh, her husband Lloyd in the background as thank well. Thank you, Lloyd. Thanks, Lloyd, for coming in. <laughs> Both of you guys are great. And we want to give this away. And I think uh, families are going to love it. So let's give away. Uh, we have two copies. Two copies. To callers number five and seven this morning at 781 837 4900. We're looking for callers number five and seven this morning, 781 837 4900. All right, they can pick up the book. And how do they get that music too, Kate, if they want to hear those songs? How can they get those CDs? Well, they can listen to them if they purchase the book. And as they're reading the book to their children, they can hear the songs. The songs are on. The CD is, uh, there's a CD on all of the books, and I narrate, narrate the story, and the two songs come along on different tracks, but they will hear both songs will come on the CD and the book. Oh, wow. Excellent. Kate, thank you. Thank you. Tony, and at the sound of the bell, your ride will start on the Paragon Town.